Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's start with plasma. So plasma is the extracellular matrix. Now the big term again, extracellular. Extra means what? Outside, something which is outside. Cellular means cell. So something which is outside the cell. So plasma basically means that when you look at blood, so blood again consists of different components, right? So the entire matrix, that is the entire background or the entire medium is filled with plasma. So plasma is basically that fluid which fills the entire space. So let us suppose if this is a room. So I'm just trying to give you a common example to help you understand what exactly plasma is. Let's suppose this is your room. Now inside this room, you have one chair, you have one table, you have one sofa and what about the remaining space? The remaining space is filled with say air. If I say that the remaining space is filled with air. So in a similar way in case of blood also, blood consists of many different components. Blood, red blood cells are present, white blood cells are present, platelets are present and all the remaining space, all the extracellular space is filled up by this fluid plasma. So if you look at the composition of plasma, it is 90% water. So that is the composition of plasma. 90% of plasma is nothing but water. And remaining around 8 to 10 per 8 percent consists of proteins, various proteins, and some 2 percent consists of some electrolytes, hormones, or nutrients. So that's the composition of blood plasma. So it is a fluid matrix on which blood cells are embedded. So all other blood cells, whether they are red blood cells or white blood cells or platelets, they are all embedded on the plasma. So plasma is like uh, you can say that the blood cells are like. Uh, you can, uh, I'll take example of a cake. So in a cake, you have a lot of things like dry fruits, cherries, and also they are all embedded on that spongy cake. Similarly here also that plasma is that fluid which is present inside the blood. In that plasma are embedded the various cells of blood. So that's plasma. So composition wise, it is 90% water, 8% proteins and remaining 2% hormones, nutrients and electrolytes. So it is, a, it is like a watery fluid. So this plasma basically gives the fluidity of blood. So blood is, blood can flow so smoothly because it contains uh, almost half, more than half of it is plasma and plasma contains 90% water. So that's why it has its fluid behavior. Now some of the important proteins which are present in blood plasma. So let us quickly look at their names and what do they do. So in plasma some important proteins are fibrinogen which helps in blood clotting. Now what do we mean by blood clotting? Now when we talk about blood clotting another uh, component of blood plays the most crucial role and that is the blood platelets. Now, when we talk about blood platelets, we will discuss that. So for now, let's try to understand what is clotting of blood. Now, have you ever observed that when you get hurt, what happens? It starts bleeding from that place. But after some time, the bleeding stops. Why? Because the blood has formed a clot there and that clot blocks further bleeding for further flow of blood. So that is called blood clot. So in that blood clot formation, this particular protein which is present in plasma also contributes. Another important protein in plasma is globulin and this protein helps in defense mechanism of the body that is it helps the body to fight against infections, defense, something which protects our, protects our body. And third important protein in plasma is the albumin. So this protein helps to maintain the osmotic balance. It maintains the water balance. The right amount of water has to be present in each and every part of our body. So these are the various proteins which are present in plasma. So just now while I was talking about the composition of plasma, I said that around 8% of plasma is made up of proteins. So those proteins are all these proteins, some little bit of fibrinogen, little bit of globulin, some amount of albumin and that way uh, plasma is composed of. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.